I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend the evening with me. And if we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. We've lived vintage for many years and collected for a long time and we've been doing a lot of fairs across Staffordshire and Birmingham and we wanted to bring something a little bit nearer to our hometown. Today we've got our third vintage fair at Codsall Village Hall. We have 23 stalls here today and a lovely singer as well. I can see you in your eyes, you still disguise the same old lies you heard the night before. I have to literally sing for my supper because I always spend what I earn at these fairs because it's just lovely. I mean, the clothes you can always find, um, just a little piece of jewellery that can change an outfit, a pair of nice gloves and a matching handbag. Again, it can just lift an outfit. And I think you'll find that the type of people that come to vintage fairs are, I don't know, they seem to be more easygoing and light-hearted. The most difficult thing to organise is getting the variety, the different varieties of stores in and making sure that we don't flood the market with too many jewellery or too many clothing. It's really important, we think, to get a really good mix so the customers have a lot of choice. My heart is wrapped around you And loving you just seems to be I, I think that people like to go back to a time where everything was a bit so much more romantic, it was nice, so it was, I, I definitely, I'd prefer to have been living in that era, um, and I, I think it's just a, it's nice to be able to sort of live it as, as much as we possibly can. I think vintage stands the test of time, I really do, and it looks elegant. We just hope that our fairs keep on reaching hundreds to thousands to millions of people worldwide success. <laughs>